Congratulations on your honor for Hagba. Here's how to lift the Torah. Take hold of the Eitzei Chaim, the trees of life, and slide the Torah to the edge of the Shulchan, the reader's table. Use the edge as leverage and push down. Lift with your knees and extend your arms upward for all to see the Torah. If possible, find the seam between the parchment prior to lifting the Torah and place it in the middle between the Eitzei Chaim. This way, if God forbid, one was to waver and unintentionally cause a tear, it will most likely fall on the seam. This is an easier fix than the alternative. Once in the air, turn the Torah to face the Kahal, the community. It is lovely if you could display two to three columns. And remember, there are no awards given for those who add additional columns, nor for those who drop the Torah in the process. For the honor of Galila, you will help roll and dress the Torah. Follow the Magbia, the person who lifted the Torah, ensuring they find their seat without tearing or dropping the Torah. There are a number of items that ornament the Torah scroll. Be sure to identify each of them in advance. Typically, there is a belt called a Chagura in Hebrew, the mantle, and a Yad, a Torah pointer. Sometimes there is a breastplate and or a crown as well. First start with the belt. Some are Velcro, others have a clasp. Some are found without and are tied like a shoelace. Be sure to secure the belt in front of the lifter. Lift the mantle and place the two top rollers through the holes on top. Many mantles open slightly in the back to make this process easier. Be mindful of the embroidery that it faces the lifter. Grab hold of the yod and place it on the brasheet side or the right hand side of the Torah. Assist the lifter set the Torah to rest, either by shifting the Torah to their shoulder or once again spotting them as they walk. Yasher Koach, a job well done. We look forward to your participation in further communal mitzvot.